Hey, Adirondack the Club family, it's Colin bringing you this week's Coach's Corner. This week we're going to talk about speed, the bad news, and the good news about speed. So, the bad news first. Uh, so speed is about 75, 70, 75% genetic. So you can thank your parents for your max capability of sprinting and, and your speed. So that's a lot of that is coming down from the genetics you were handed down by your parents. Um, that impacts leg length, your nervous system, your brain, your coordination, and a lot of that stuff that we can work on. But um, a lot of that is predetermined. However, the great news is we can get every athlete faster. From our, we've had some athletes come in pretty, you know, from, from the, the tracking pretty slow, and they're able to get faster for them and do things in their sport that allows them to access different levels in their sport. So how do we go about doing this? Um, it takes a lot of intent, and it takes uh, a plan, and it takes consistency, right? We're to get our athletes faster, especially in an opera season, is twice a week. Twice a week of maximal sprinting. So we've got to get a sprinting session. Um, it's got to be then be at max intent, so it's got to be very fast. And it's got to be well rested, right? We can't build fast athletes, or we've talked about in the past, like work, we see a lot of workhorse training, so that means we're just burying our athletes in the ground with a lot, a lot, a lot of sprinting. You know, I see some programs that come back as 10, 10 sprints of 50, 60 yards um, with 30 seconds rest. That is a conditioning program, probably not a well-designed conditioning program, when we're looking at making athletes faster. We have to be at a high intensity, it has to be good technique, it has to be well rested. And then even better if you can track it. So what we have, we have laser timers that help track our speed and how fast our athletes going. Um, and then we can compare it to what they've done in the past. And it's really interesting to see where our athletes level up and where they can go. So we can drop a 10th in about, it takes about 12 weeks to drop a 10th off of their time in some of the different sprinting metrics we use. Um, and we have what those metrics look like for a Division One lacrosse player, female, to a Division Three lacrosse player. So we have some metrics there to help us understand where your athlete might line up. Another big piece of this is just getting stronger, right? We need to have a little bit more tension in our in our tendons to actually spring off of them and in our muscles, getting more powerful. So a lot of that is incorporates into getting faster. If you don't have time for that, sprinting fast, working on some technique can get you there. Well rested, twice a week. But remember, it takes a long time to gain and you can lose it. So this is something you don't wanna stop doing in season. So if you need help getting faster, good news is we could do that. And uh, a lot of coaches out there can help you with that. And your athlete can get faster. Every athlete can get faster. So if you, um, we don't have to have those self-limiting beliefs about our speed. So you can get faster. Uh, your genetics is gonna maybe make your ceiling higher or lower depending on who you are, but we can always get you to that edge. And you've just gotta work hard to do it. Um, if you need help, reach out to me. I'd love to help your athlete out. Get faster, get stronger, and get uh, more confidence so they can do what they need to do on the field. Reach out to me and we'll get your athlete set up.